garden today and we are going to be talking about roselles. Now what, you might ask, are roselles? Well, they are these beauties and they are a kind of hibiscus. So if you've ever had um, hibiscus tea or jamaica, it was made from these things. Not the flower proper, but the base of it. So I'm going to show you right here. Right there, calyx. And then after the flower uh, falls off, you're left with uh, this bit, and that is the good stuff. In addition to being beautiful, these guys have been complete champs. Uh, I grew them from seed, I've transplanted them a couple times. They lasted through a very dry, very hot summer, and they just keep chugging along. Uh, once the temperature cooled off a little bit and we got some rain, they have uh, quadrupled in size. And uh, bees love them, and they're just lovely to look at. Picked a couple off, just to give you a closer look. Um, there's the expired flower in there, and beneath that is a seed pod. Um, you don't eat that part, but here's, here's one I've cut in half. So you can see what the little seed pod looks like in there. I don't think these are quite mature yet, but you definitely want to leave a few to mature so you can grow them again next year. But this, this outer part is the good part. It's a little waxy. You can dry it uh, to make tea. Um, you can candy it. You can preserve it in syrup. Or you can make jam. A couple other cool things about roselles is that they're really high in vitamin C, so great health benefits. Also, this seed pod, um, these seed pods contain pectin, which makes these things a prime candidate for baking jam. So it'll thicken up without uh, too much sugar. So that's what we're gonna do today. We've got, oh, about a week, a little over a week worth of harvested here, uh, roselles here, so that's what we're gonna do. First thing is to separate all those seed pods. And this is what we end up with. Uh, this pile of the tasty bits, some stained fingers, the seed pods, the pectin, and then where this is the discard pile. It's kind of the stems, uh, expired petals, stuff like that. That can go in the compost. So now I'm going to take these seed pods, cut them in half, and put them in a pot with just enough water to cover and let it simmer for a while. So we've been going about 10 minutes now, and you can kind of tell when you stir it, it looks a little gooey. And that's what we're looking for. So I am gonna strain out all these solids and then we'll have our pectin liquid. So it's all strained out and we ended up with oh, about two thirds cup liquid. So I'm gonna add that to our roselles. And uh, I'm gonna start with an equal amount of sugar and see how that goes. Um, there are quite a bit of calyxes in here, so I might end up having to add a little of both, but we're gonna let it simmer it down and see what we end up with. This has been simmering about 20 minutes now, and I did end up adding more sugar, uh, another third cup. So now we're up to one cup of sugar for the two thirds of the liquid pectin that we came up with. But um, I think we're about there. We're starting to get those little trails. So I am going to pour these in some jars. So here's our jam after chilling in the fridge. And we actually end up with a pretty firm set here. So I'm not sure that that extra third cup of sugar was necessary. Maybe stick with a one-to-one -one ratio of sugar to liquid pectin, depending on how thick you like it. But uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I'm gonna put it on my matcha avocado muffins and have a lovely breakfast this morning. 